Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Jeremy Alexander Newsom with Real Life Trading. Hope you're absolutely wonderful. It is most certainly your Wednesday Real Life Stock Review and I know you guys are pumped and excited about some gaps. I usually look at the SPY today, but let's just go ahead and mix it up a little bit. So let's start out with Fitbit and Facebook, mostly because my phone is blowing up right now as we speak based on these two stocks. So uh, Fitbit, one of the stocks that I mentioned not too long ago in an article, uh, nine companies I'm always bearish on, this was one of them. And uh, just because they have a product that a lot of other companies have that's easily replicatable and you know they don't charge, charge a lot for it and so on and so forth. Anyway, huge gap, massive, down 28%. It's gonna be very, very difficult to trade this. In fact, it'll probably be hard to find shares in short. They'll probably have a short sell restriction out there on it. There'll probably be a lot out there that's going to be difficult uh, on Fitbit. But either way, big gap down, doing its thing. Um, if anything, it probably either is a doji tomorrow or turns into a little bit of a fade. I don't know. We'll see. Facebook, ticker symbol FB, right now is at 118.75 pre-market. I don't know exactly what it's going to do um, until the market opens, but here's what we noted, or here's what I noted the other day. I think Facebook fades whatever it does, meaning if it gaps down, it probably trades up, uh, and if it gaps up, it probably trades down. Well, it's obviously gapping down hugely, about 6.5% right now at 118.70, which is right about here, and it's not too bad, so there's actually a few traders, uh, myself included, who would really be excited about owning some Facebook down here, so here's your weekly chart. And you guys know that I've been talking about Facebook trading up uh, higher and higher and higher, very, very nice bullish trend, but really absolutely did need a little bit of a nice dip and a little bit of a bounce. I think it could trade down to 116 tomorrow, more than likely. And from there, probably bounce more than likely, but doesn't have to, of course. But it has done that once, twice before. Maybe this time is three times later. So we'll see, right? Once, twice, we'll see if it bounced off there a third time, right? Buy low, sell high on Facebook. Ron, your covered call at 136 will definitely expire worthless. Uh, again, so big gap on Facebook. Exciting to see what happens. Overall, though, it should be a relatively bearish gap uh, coming into the tomorrow or the next day, but it depends on where it opens. Because if it opens too far, then it probably will get bought up a little bit. As I mentioned, maybe down to 116. Trend looks nice. We'll see what happens on Facebook. So here's the SPY, ladies and gentlemen. The big news for this particular real life stock review is that, uh, as you guys know, I did have a wager on SPY, and the wager was made way back here. I had a wager back there that SPY would go below 211 by November 1st. And I mentioned that kind of as a random day, not specifically, but you know, it said by November 1st. And I wish I said by the end of day, November 1st, <laughs> because technically, theoretically, the wager I made, I did lose. I technically did lose. Um, by about 20 cents and about 12 hours. So yes, I tried calling an exact price on SPY on an exact day about three months ahead of time and only missed it by hours and cents. I think that's not too bad though. But either way, SPY did break below a really good support um, yesterday. We did have a little bit of a retest today. Uh, I do think this is a nice little bearish move. I'm happy that we're getting this bearish move. I've been mentioning the last few weeks and months really that a pullback into October, November was expected and healthy, right? Expected and healthy. I like that that's occurring. I think this would be a good buy the dip opportunity. Here's a weekly chart, and you'll notice we trade right down to the 50 EMA. So the question really is going to be where we're going to bounce on the SPY. That I don't know, but I can say for sure that I'm keeping my eyes on a bounce the next two to three weeks coming into the end of November into December. So I'm watching for that potential Santa rally to occur. Will it happen? I don't know for sure. But the 208 level would make a lot of sense if it trades down into 208, 207, 206, and from there starts kind of potentially bouncing. Here's the Qs today. The Qs trade right down to the 100 simple moving average. In fact, that was the low of today. If the Qs opens below there, though, looks like we'll have another fun day in the market tomorrow. Again, I don't know exactly what's going to happen out there. But there's a little bit of bearishness going on. And the last week and a half, two weeks, has been amazing in the morning trading room. For anyone who's been there day trading with us, we have been just absolutely destroying it. Feeling really good about the trades. Johnny Guarco, my buddy in Hawaii, is doing so well 
that I mentioned that I would be traveling over to Hawaii to visit him for the first two weeks in January. So I'm officially going to Hawaii, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pumped about that. He is absolutely wrecking it. I'm so proud of him. Johnny Barco, love you, man. Great job. Well done. Charles Wade, he took his first bearish day trade today on KATE, and this was a black candle gapping down. You want to want to guess on how Charles played this? Well, it was a retest gap. So black candle gapping down. Here is the retest on that particular trade, right? Trade up, and there's the failure. So the retest into this area, he played it short. Mr. Charles Wade, great trade. Wonderful job, sir. Uh, Rob Cole and a few other traders made a little bit of money on DATA with a perfect gap and go today. So Rob Cole, Scott, a few other traders made a little bit of money on data. Great job. AGN, another really nice bearish gap and go on AGN. Joseph up there in Chicago made 3% on AGN today, which I think is about three R's. Um, Scott, other few other traders made some money. So anyway, it was a great day, great few weeks. I'm loving it. I'm really pumped about it. Some other swing trades that we are in right now. We are still in XRT puts. You can see back here, we triggered in, really we triggered into those puts on the 18th of October and uh, $48.41 is our target. We also still have puts on ABT, ticker symbol ABT, our target is $37.95. And ITW, we're in bearish also, but it's actually not working out that great. Probably going to end up exiting that very soon. We got triggered in uh, somewhere over here. And uh, yeah, bottom line is, even though the market's selling off, Illinois Toolwork apparently is pretty excited about the Cubs going to Game 7 tonight, in fact. And uh, it's not really selling off. So anyway, I look at a few other trades. Apple, ladies and gentlemen, is down right now. This is a gorgeous white candle today the low of which is 111.23. Let me go ahead and give you guys a shout out on Apple right now. My friends, I am bearish on Apple. We took out the low of this candle. I mentioned that in previous stock reviews. If we take out that low, we are moving. Today was a nice white candle. This is a little bit of a retest. This was a, a very nice retest in my opinion. I think we're gonna go lower, maybe into 108, maybe all the way into this 100 simple moving average, especially if we keep this gap down coming into the market tomorrow, even more so if we open below the low of this candle, 110.53. I don't think that happens, but if we do that, we're really moving on Apple tomorrow. But here's your Apple uh, hourly time frame. And if I turn the extended hours off, right? So right now we're gapping down to about 11.02. So it'll depend on how exactly we open, but we'll be opening right to that support. Look for this, this, and then something like that on Apple. But yeah, there's a little bit of bearers coming in. Uh, right now, a lot of things can change between market open and tomorrow, but we'll see. Amazon, ladies and gentlemen, keep your eyes on Amazon bearish. It too is down almost a percent right now. It's kind of weird. There's like a lot of things selling off. I do have a wager uh, with Maritzia. She was saying, is it going to hit 745 by the end of the day Friday? And I said, no, but hey, it always could. Um, so I'm going to buy her a gift off of Amazon if that happens. Bottom line, ladies and gentlemen, Amazon's a black candle gapping down. Black candle gapping down. Here's the retest gap. Here's the breakthrough. Here's what I'm looking for in the next two or three days. Something like this, something like, something like that. On the hourly time frame, specifically for my option traders, looking for Amazon to retest that 100, fail it, and then roll over. Short term, a little bit bearish on Amazon. Now, as much as I'm talking about bearish trades, my friends, I am just going to throw this out there. I'm keeping my eyes out for the bulls. The bears have been here really for like the last two weeks of the market, slightly but surely. And from this going forward, if you're not in some bearish trades already, you might be chasing it depending on what those trades are. So if the trades can come into some support, I'm looking to be buying very soon. The bearish trades that we'll be placing, if any, are going to be moving and they'll be moving quickly. Just letting you guys know that. So for my very active traders, we're about to have a blast. For my longer term, blue chip, buy and hold swing traders. You're gonna be probably sitting there looking at some swings, looking at some red, looking at some losses for the next uh, two to three weeks, maybe even a month potentially. But I still do think that uh, Santa will be visiting us in December. We'll get a little bit of a rally into the end of the year. Maybe, right? We don't have to, but I still think that's gonna be the case. And worst case scenario, right? If we just keep tanking, let's just keep making money on the downside, <laughs> right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, well, this is your Wednesday Real Life Stock Review. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, well, I can't. I probably can't go without looking at Baba. Yeah, let's talk about Baba. Uh, Baba today, white candle gapped up to a resistance, right? Here's your resistance on Baba. Um, Mr. Robert Stevens made some good money on Baba today. Good job, Mr. Stevens. So here's your white candle gapped up to a resistance and a really good retest, really good failure today on Baba. 
it also probably trades down to the 100 simple moving average. Baba, a little bit of a bearish edge on that one for sure. So keep your eyes on Baba, folks. It's looking a little bit gnarly out there. We'll see what's going to happen. But tomorrow, if we gap down, we could just trade up all day tomorrow. Tomorrow's open will be key. I'll be there, and so will Latoya Smith tomorrow morning calling the open. An amazing day trade, ladies and gentlemen. For the price of just a cell phone bill, you can watch absolute greatness take place tomorrow with the toy. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pumped about it. You guys are amazing. I'll see you Friday. And until then, remember, love life, live life, and trade it. Bye.